Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Jenna. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the Castle, Castle House. House. We have moved to the country and we have been living in our shouse for about a month now. And when I say shouse, I mean shed house, not shit house. <laughs> and some of the highlights so far that we didn't even think would be are obviously the tractor. Oh, you the, love the tractor. Josh <laughs> loves the, the tractor. The camels in the back paddock. We like to have an afternoon pat with the camels. And seeing the kids. The girls are just ridiculously happy. They literally ride their bikes around the shed barefoot, run through the sprinklers, they pick fruit. Like, it's just the best. I think our backyard was the size of one of these bedrooms in Melbourne. So it's nice just to have our own space. It's nice to be able to pull into a garage because we didn't have a car space in Melbourne. So sometimes we'd be parking one or two blocks away from our house and have to cart all the groceries. Now we just pull straight in and it's happy days. The shed has been built really well and it's got great bones, but we bought it off a person that was living here on their own and now we're obviously a family of four. So we've had to gut some of the shed and redo it, which has been fun to adapt to our current lifestyle. We really wanted to make the shed feel like a home, even though it's only going to be a short time that we live in the actual shed. We don't want to feel rushed or pressured to get this house done quickly. We want to do it right and we want to do it justice. The shed we're living in now was built to be the same specifications as the original winemaking shed from back in the 1800s. So what I'm standing next to here is a whole lot of salvaged timber from the original winemaking shed. So, so it doesn't end up rotten or in firewood, we're incorporating it back into the design by using exposed beams in the shed. And I'm also gonna pick out the best bits and make a beautiful recycled timber workbench. A couple of months before we moved into the shed, I ordered a whole house full of new furniture and it never arrived. So what we had to do was pull together second-hand pieces, vintage pieces, scour Facebook Marketplace, and find pieces that were off the shelf. And ultimately, I think it was actually a blessing in disguise. We've ended up with an amazing result, full of character and warmth. And my absolute favorite piece is this beautiful vintage floral sofa. And it really set the scene for the entire style of the shed. And I'm going to name this Shed Chic. It's been a fun project. We've enjoyed it. And every time we worry about whether we're making the right design decision, we go, who cares, it's a shed. <laughs> so it's actually been quite fun. As well as moving and renovating the shed, we've been developing plans for this exciting project with our architect, Bill, from Arcula. Our North Melbourne house was our forever house at the time. And we put a lot of detail, love and passion into that home. And we absolutely loved it but the design brief for this one is going to be very different. We learn a lot from every house we design and we quickly realised in our North Melbourne house what worked and what didn't work, and in particular, with kids. So for this house, it's all about simplicity. Our lifestyle, trying to have a more simplified life, living off the land, but also in our design style. This house has to be practical, kid-friendly and simple. I think the heritage home calls for a bit of playfulness. The high ceilings, the ornate details, allows for some colour in a fun but empathetic way. So I'm really excited to get my hands on this part. While the new addition will be a complete juxtaposition to this beautiful older style home. With its pavilion style extension, it will blend seamlessly into the landscape and allow this beauty to become the hero. This project is just as much about the outside as it is the inside. So we've appointed landscape architect and horticulturalist, Phil Withers. We're currently waiting for council approval for the addition of the new home, but we already have approval to reinstate the roof and the veranda for the old house. We've just been waiting on materials. I just had a call from our builder, Aaron, the other day, and it turns out the trusses and the roof is going on in two weeks, which is great news. We're three weeks ahead of schedule in an age where everything is running over. 
So from here, the trusses go on, the roof goes on, the veranda, the windows, the doors, and then it's our turn. And we're gonna take over on the internal fit out while we wait for council approval. From the time the roof starts, I'm predicting about three months to have this place to full lock up, um, and then we can start on the fit out. We can't wait to get started. Bring it on.